The final definition we want to look at this week is the centralizer of an element in a group. So that is, we pick one particular element of the group, A in general, and we look at the things that commute with that element. At first glance, this seems very similar to our definition of the center of a group. But the center of the group are the elements that commute with everything. The centralizer is with reference to a specific element, A. I only care about it if it commutes with A, it doesn't have to commute with everything in the group. So let's start by trying to figure out what is the centralizer of R90 in, again, D4. I started out by just saying that R0 is in there because, of course, the identity commutes with everything. Also, it shouldn't take too much thought to understand that an element always commutes with itself. But if we look at our Cayley table for D4, it turns out that the rotations always commute with all other rotations. We're specifically looking at R90, but R90 times R0 is R90, R0 times R90 is R90. R90 times R90 is 180. Of course, that's reverses. 180 times 90 is 270. 90 times 180 is 270. 90 times 270 is 0. 270 times 90 is 0. So, all the rotations are part of the centralizer of R90. What about the reflections? R90 times H is D prime. H times R90 is D. That doesn't commute, so H is not in there. R90 V is D. D R90 is V. That doesn't commute. R90 times D is H. D times R90 is V. That doesn't commute. R90 D prime is V. D prime R90 is H. So none of the other things are in the centralizer of R90. R90 is just those four things.